In the silent theater of the cosmos, where the darkness stretches endlessly and stars shimmer like distant lanterns, a story unfolds that is both humbling and profound. From the depths of this vast expanse, a faint whisper traveled for over 22 hours to reach us, a signal so delicate it could easily have been lost in the cosmic noise. It was Voyager 1's final transmission, a message not of discovery, but of perspective, echoing across billions of miles to remind us of our place in the universe. A single image, a pixel of light in the darkness, forced us to confront our smallness and fragility. That tiny speck, suspended in a sunbeam, is home to everyone we know, every story ever told. The Voyager program began in the 1970s, a time of boundless curiosity and ambition, sending two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and 2, on a daring mission to explore the outer planets and beyond. Their instruments revealed the mysteries of Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's majestic rings, Uranus's tilted axis, and Neptune's deep blue winds, unveiling secrets never before seen by human eyes. But the engineers had a grander vision. After their planetary encounters, the probes would journey into interstellar space, venturing farther than any human-made object had ever gone. Powered by radioisotope generators, they were built to last decades, becoming humanity's first interstellar travelers, carrying with them golden records of Earth's sounds and greetings for any who might find them. The story of Voyager's final message is one of relentless curiosity and a deep, enduring need to understand our place in the universe, a quest that unites us all beneath the same stars. Carl Sagan, ever the visionary, championed the idea of turning Voyager's camera back toward Earth for one last picture, a pale blue dot, a cosmic perspective on our shared existence. This image would become one of the most iconic in science, reshaping how we see ourselves, not as conquerors of the cosmos, but as caretakers of a fragile world, adrift in the vastness of space. The Voyager mission was made possible by a rare and remarkable alignment of the outer planets, a cosmic event that set the stage for one of humanity's greatest adventures. This unique planetary arrangement occurs only once every 175 years, offering a fleeting window of opportunity for exploration that would not come again for generations. In 1977, NASA seized this chance, launching Voyager 2 and then Voyager 1. These twin spacecraft were designed to take advantage of the alignment using the gravity of each planet as a slingshot to propel them onward, allowing them to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in a single grand tour. Each planet's immense gravity acted as a cosmic catapult, flinging the spacecraft to the next destination. This ingenious technique saved years of travel time and enormous amounts of fuel, making the mission possible with the technology of the era. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in 1979, sending back breathtaking images of the Great Red Spot, a massive storm larger than Earth, and revealing, for the first time, active volcanoes erupting on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. At Saturn, Voyager's cameras unveiled the intricate and delicate structure of the planet's rings, showing details never before seen, and sparking new questions about their origin and composition. After its encounter with Saturn, Voyager 1 left the plane of the solar system, venturing into uncharted territory. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 pressed on, becoming the first and only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune, where it discovered new moons, faint rings, and recorded the fastest winds in the solar system. For the first time in history, humanity was able to witness the outer planets up close, transforming distant points of light into vibrant, dynamic worlds. The data returned by the Voyagers revolutionized our understanding of the solar system, revealing a diverse family of worlds, each with its own unique features, mysteries, and surprises. The Voyagers discovered 23 new moons, mapped the complex magnetic fields of the giant planets, and studied the atmospheres and rings in unprecedented detail, providing insights that continue to shape planetary science today. Their scientific achievements were monumental, but the mission also carried a deeper, more philosophical message, a message for any who might one day find these distant travelers. With their primary mission complete, the Voyager probes became silent ambassadors, carrying the golden record, a message of music, images, and greetings from Earth into the vast unknown. Their journey was about to transcend science, venturing beyond the boundaries of our solar system and into interstellar space. As they drifted farther from home, the Voyagers offered us a new perspective, a glimpse of Earth as a tiny fragile dot in the vastness of the cosmos, reminding us of our shared place in the universe. With their planetary missions complete, the Voyagers began their interstellar mission, 
their goal to leave the sun's influence and enter the space between the stars, the interstellar medium. Their instruments, repurposed for deep space, measured particles and magnetic fields far from the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere. The boundary, called the heliopause, marks the edge of the solar system. In 2012, after 35 years, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause becoming the first human-made object in interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, both probes now send back data on the density, temperature and magnetic field of interstellar plasma. These measurements are our first direct look at the environment beyond our solar system. The Voyagers are no longer just planetary explorers, they are our first interstellar ambassadors. Their journey continues, powered by human curiosity. They sail on, sending whispers from the void. Each Voyager spacecraft carries a golden phonograph record, a message carefully crafted for any intelligent life that might one day discover them, drifting through the vastness of space. These records are more than just objects, they are time capsules, silent ambassadors of Earth, journeying far beyond our solar system. The golden record, conceived by Carl Sagan's visionary team, is a time capsule, a greeting from humanity to the cosmos. It contains 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and a selection of scientific information, all chosen to represent the diversity and wonder of life on Earth. The record holds a rich tapestry of sounds from Earth, nature's symphony, the laughter and cries of human life, the heartbeat of our planet, from the gentle rush of waves to the calls of animals and the everyday sounds of people living, it's a sonic portrait of our world. And then, there is music. Masterpieces from Bach to Chuck Berry, and traditional melodies from around the globe. These songs were chosen to express the depth of human emotion and creativity, transcending language and time. The cover of the record is an instruction manual etched with diagrams showing our solar system's location and how to play the record. It's a cosmic invitation, a puzzle for any finder to solve, revealing who we are and where we come from. The odds of the record ever being found are astronomically small but that's not really the point, its true purpose lies in the act of sending it. Creating the record was an act of self-reflection, a moment when humanity paused to consider its place in the universe and what message we would send to the stars. It forced us to ask, what defines us as a species? What do we value, and how do we wish to be remembered by distant worlds? The golden record is a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean, carrying our hopes, dreams, and identity into the unknown. In many ways, the Golden Record is as much for us as for any alien civilization. It's a mirror, reflecting our collective story and our longing to connect. It says, we were here, we existed, we reached out hoping someone somewhere might one day hear our call. This is who we are, a mosaic of cultures, faces and stories united by curiosity and wonder. Even if the record is never found, it stands as a symbol of hope, curiosity and the enduring human spirit, a testament to our desire to reach beyond ourselves. Voyager carries our story into eternity, a silent traveler bearing the legacy of Earth, forever journeying among the stars. By 1990, Voyager 1 was nearly 4 billion miles from Earth. Its cameras had been dormant for years, but Carl Sagan had one last request, turn them back toward home. NASA hesitated, but Sagan argued the value was philosophical, not scientific. On Valentine's Day, 1990, Voyager executed a complex sequence, capturing a mosaic of the solar system. The images showed the planets as tiny specks lost in the vastness. One frame in particular stood out, Earth, a faint point of light suspended in a sunbeam. The data was slowly transmitted back and assembled at JPL. The result was not a spectacular image, but a legendary one. Afterward, Voyager's cameras were powered down forever. The pale blue dot image was born. It was a final look back, a cosmic farewell. That tiny pixel was home everything we are captured in a single fragile dot the image was named pale blue dot earth as a single pixel less than 0.12 pixels in size carl sagan wrote that this distant view underscores the folly of our conflicts and our self-importance on that dot everyone who ever lived played out their lives the image delivered a profound moment of cosmic humility it showed our planet as a lonely speck in the vast dark the final transmission wasn't about discovery out there, but about discovering something within ourselves. It changed our perspective, highlighting Earth's fragility and interconnectedness. This new view influenced space exploration and environmental awareness. The pale blue dot became an icon for the environmental movement. It reminds us that we are all crew members on this tiny spaceship. Our problems are global, our fate is shared. 
the image is a call to action, to be better stewards of our only home, the challenge, to care for our pale blue dot. The pale blue dot was Voyager 1's last photograph. After 1990 its cameras were switched off, the mission focused on interstellar space, its power supply is fading, and NASA has been shutting down instruments to conserve energy. The priority is to keep studying the interstellar medium as long as possible. Eventually the probes will fall silent, likely by 2025. They'll continue drifting through the galaxy, silent ghosts on an endless journey. The end of the Voyager mission marks the end of an era. For nearly half a century they've been our eyes and ears in the outer solar system. Their slow fade will be poignant like losing a distant friend, but their legacy is secure. The data and the pale blue dot will inspire generations, their final message will echo as long as we remember to look up. Voyager's final transmission left a legacy beyond science. The pale blue dot shaped public understanding of our place in the universe. It became a symbol of cosmic awareness and humility. This perspective influenced future missions, making space exploration about meaning as well as data. Images from Hubble, Cassini and Mars rovers now inspire everyone, not just scientists. The pale blue dot democratized the overview effect, letting all of us see Earth as fragile and united. It's a reminder that we share one world. The image calls us to responsibility, to care for our home and each other. The most important discovery wasn't out there but within ourselves. Voyager's final message is a call to transcend our divisions, it asks us to cherish the only home we have. The Voyagers are now silent ambassadors carrying their golden records into the Milky Way. Their journey and the pale blue dot force us to ask, are we alone? The cosmos is silent, making our existence all the more precious. If we are rare, then life on this dot is a unique treasure. The silence gives us purpose. We are the custodians of consciousness here. Voyager's story is about curiosity, ingenuity, and our search for meaning. The final transmission holds up a mirror, asking knowing our place in the cosmos, how will we choose to live on our pale blue dot? The answer is up to us.